At this point, you have a good feel for perimeter in simple shapes. It can sometimes be a bit more challenging to determine the perimeter of more complex shapes. Let's do this example. Determine the perimeter of the object shown. Okay, well we're pretty good with perimeter at this point and we know we can simply add up all the sides around the object. No problem. But hmm, maybe a problem. There are some sides on this shape that are missing. How are we supposed to solve the perimeter if we don't know the sides? Impossible? Well, let's take another look. Maybe there's a tricky way to determine those missing sides. Looking at it again, well, this side here, let's call it X, just so we have a name for it. Well, we know that this side over here is 6 centimeters, and that's the same here, or here. And we know that this side over here is 3 centimeters, and that's the same here, or here. So we can see that our side X is just the 6 centimeters minus the 3 centimeters. 6 minus 3 equals 3 centimeters. Okay, nice. Well, we have the X figured out. Let's see if we can figure out this other side. Let's call this one Y, just so it has a name. And we don't want to use X again, as we already have an X, and they may not turn out to be the same. So, Y. Well, we know that this side on the bottom is 9 centimeters. And that's the same here, or here. And we know that this side on the top is 5 centimeters. And that's the same here, or here. So we can see that our side Y is really just 9 centimeters minus 5 centimeters, or 4 centimeters. Nice, so we have the second side figured out. Okay, well we have all the sides for this polygon, and so we can figure out the perimeter. Perimeter equals all the sides added, so 6 centimeters, plus 5 centimeters, plus 3 centimeters, plus 4 centimeters, plus 3 centimeters, plus 9 centimeters to bring us back to the start, and we add all those up to be 30 centimeters. So the perimeter of this complex shape is 30 centimeters. You now have a method for calculating the perimeter of a complex shape. Given that, if you really want to challenge your brain, let me show you another method. Let's see if you understand this method. What if I told you that you didn't even really need to determine the lengths of those missing sides to get the perimeter of this shape? Impossible, you say? You say you need to add up all the sides to get the perimeter, so how can you get the perimeter if you don't know all the sides, you say? Well, consider. Let's relabel the sides X and Y, and we'll explain. We may not know what X is, but we do know that 3 plus X has to equal the other side, 6 centimeters. That is, they both go from the bottom of the object to the top. So we can start our perimeter equation here with all of the vertical, that is the up and down sides. On the left we have the 6 centimeters, and on the right we have the 3 plus X, but it's going to equal 6 centimeters as well. Also, we know that 5 plus Y has to be the same length as the bottom. It also goes from left to right on our object. So 5 plus Y has to be 9 centimeters. So we can add our horizontal sides to our perimeter equation. 9 plus 9 centimeters. One 9 centimeters for the bottom side and the other 9 centimeters for the 5 plus Y which we know has to add to 9. So our new perimeter equation is 6 plus 6 plus 9 plus 9, and we add that up, and we get 30 centimeters, exactly the same. A trickier way to do it, but the exact same result. 
In this tutorial, we found that we could be given a perimeter problem with missing side lengths and still come up with an answer. We have to be tricky to do it, but it can definitely be done with a bit of thinking. Again, whichever way you decide to calculate the perimeter, make sure that you show your method clearly, show your work, and include your units in your final answer.